1647. The Putney Debates by Ross Birrell. It's a very simple banner, a very easily kind of read on one level, but then also quite cryptic maybe and not revealing in another because it doesn't represent, the, I suppose, a narrative in a narrative way the history that the banner is there to commission to represent in a, in a sense. Um, but the sprig of rosemary it actually responds or is inspired by a detail of history that the levellers who were, I suppose, a kind of vanguard faction within the new model army that they were seeking, uh, I suppose, the ab abolition of the House of Lords or increased representation for, uh, uh, I suppose, kind of one man, one vote at the time. Um, uh, I suppose, increasing of the franchise and kind of a challenging, to, they wanted to abolish the monarchy and so on. That uh, was keeping true to the ideals of the, uh, certain aspects of the Civil War. Um, when they used to meet, they used to meet with a sprig of rosemary in their cap to identify themselves as levellers, uh, kind of to level the, the field against the establishment hierarchies in, in Britain um, or in England at the time, rather. Um, so that I found this detail of history really something that uh, maybe I could uh, alight upon to maybe open up in another way the maybe the contemporary resonances of those challenges and struggles for representation. So the rosemary is something that we maybe associate uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Everybody maybe thinks about it as kind of quintessentially English, even parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme from folk music and folk songs that go to the heart of, I suppose, what maybe, uh, I suppose, folk identity. Um, but rosemary is a very hardy herb uh, uh, you can neglect it and it still grows, um, isn't native uh, to, uh, to British soil. It grows uh, in Africa and in the Mediterranean, North Africa and the Mediterranean, and on the Gallipoli Peninsula, very famously. So rosemary has this uh, association with remembrance generally, rosemary is for remembrance, but also for, in terms of contemporary terms, there's also a sense that there is a reference to those who are not represented, who are coming from North Africa or the Mediterranean to come to the to British shores, a sense that, are, um, that also they are democracy to come.